Today I thought we'd take a look at concrete demo saws, but not just any demo saws, in particular electric concrete demo saws. Here we have a Evolution concrete, you plug it in demo saw, and back here, just for size comparison and a roundabout comparison, it's, this is not a head-to-head, -head, but just to show, here we have a 14-inch Hilti, and here we have a 14-inch Husqvarna Partner 960 demo saw. Both of these are, this is the big bad boy. This is probably one of the tops on the market right now, one of the most expensive things. But can we take something that's a quarter of the price, maybe a fifth of the price, and do about the same things that one of these can? You know, if we don't need to invest all that into something for, you know, this is a daily use job. If we just need to do jobs now and then, will something like this hold up? Let's find out. So first thing is, you can see that this is a little bit smaller. Still a big machine, this is a 12 inch blade. That's still big, but it's a little bit smaller than the industry standard of gas ones that are about 14 inches. So this is a 14 inch, this has a, a 12 inch, so you're gonna lose roughly an inch all the way around. So you're roughly gonna lose about an inch of cutting depth. I think this one's about four inches of cutting depth, so you're gonna be left with about, this one would be closer to five, but. It actually seems about the same. I can throw a tape measure on there. You know, just to go in there. We're four inches, and this one is actually four and a half. So they got more meat in here. So you, we actually, yeah, it's clear on both sides. So we actually only lose out on about a half inch of cutting depth. I thought it was going to be more. So that's not too bad. Um, weight wise, we are a little bit lighter with the electric. You know, we're not running a gas engine. We're about two and a half kilos or about five pounds lighter. Um, with the blade attached, everything with this versus this. This one, I'd say a gasoline powered one is a little bit more balanced, has the weight, you know, the weight's kind of all over with the drive mechanism and everything. It's more centralized where this one feels like the motor area is the heaviest part and the blade is lighter, but it could be just because the blade's bigger, heavier. So it's pulling it forward. So this one, I'm holding all the way back here. Um, one big drawback that I can see is not being water, uh, not being able to use it with water, so the dust is going to be a little bit of an issue. But they did allow you to have a, you know, you can hook a shop, shop vac or something up to it, so you can actually suck the dust out while you're working it. This one, you do have, you know, most of these have water hookups on them. This one always gets ran dry anyway, so did that one. Um, sometimes it's a pain in the butt, especially in the winter. To run water systems and a lot of these blades now run dry just fine so either way this one at least has the ability i guess to um have a vacuum port where something like this does not but i do wish that you could run water with it so one thing you'll notice is just how much skinnier it is especially on the back side on the motor side than the gasoline powered ones but one thing they did different was they put the instead of putting the, uh, the motor shaft on when you're behind it on the right hand side they actually put it on the left hand side so you're clear over here where it's just the opposite on one of these units you know not a big deal but it's just the opposite um, I wish they would have it is skinnier the motor everything else so you think you'd be able to get closer to a wall over here you can't really um, let's see this one your two and three quarters out from this side and then the all the way rest of the way down you're clear so theoretically you could be within about three inches of the wall and cut a straight line where you come to this and you would think you would be able to but you can't because the handle sticks out nearly four and a half inches so your handle is your only obstruction on this one where you have to be four and a half inches on either side away from a wall so I wish they would have Maybe just on this side, skinnied up this handle, brought it down just a little bit. But other than that, overall it's smaller. You should be able to fit into tighter areas than you would with one of these. So again, this isn't a head-to-head. -head. We know that a gasoline-powered one is a little bit more portable and can run all day, every day, commercial, you know. But we're, we're looking at stuff that will get your job done. Whether you have to cut out a foundation, cut out, you know, the basement floor for drainage pipes, electrical, something, anything. Will this do it? Let's go throw this through some concrete and see how well it does. See if I can bog it down, see if I can stall it out, 
see how much power this thing actually has. You wanted to get a nice hard piece of concrete with a lot of aggregate stones in it. So this is actually like, a, this is a concrete curve. So this is about as hard as I get. There are no chunks of rebar or anything in it. Probably why it broke. But this blade, supposedly they give you a blade with it for the price. Actually will cut through, it's a diamond blade, will cut through concrete, uh, will cut through rebar as well as the concrete. So I actually have the uh, dust, a little shop back hook up to it on a completely different uh, circuit so it's not sharing the same circuit so we don't bog down the power at all we don't steal power from the machine at all and let's just see if we can do some cuts make some nice slices The little teeny shop vac, I mean, this is just a mini shop vac. Um, actually did extremely well, and I didn't end up with that much dust. Uh, generally, you end up with a humongous cloud of dust. That wasn't bad. That kept up as long as the guard was in the right position to catch all the uh, the dust. You're actually really good. So as long as that guard is close to the surface, so you're cutting concrete, that's going to collect virtually everything. Very impressed. Let's see if we can bog it down now. Evolution recommends this, but virtually all demo saws, at least gas ones, we, you know, you put abrasive wheels on there as well so you can cut steel. They're amazing for demolition, for cutting up huge structural steel. Much better than an angle grinder that you're holding. This is, these are much more comfortable, much more when you're cutting just thick, thick things. So I have a pretty worn down abrasive wheel on here, so we'll cut through some uh, eight inch wall, what's that, a two millimeter wall pipe. Probably won't go through all the way, but let's uh, test it out, see how well it does when I bury the abrasive blade in it. I'm actually very impressed. Being used to a gasoline-powered unit, um, I thought I, I thought I'd hate it. I really did. I thought I'd be underpowered. It has a different, completely different power torque ratio. Where this needs to ramp up. You need to rev this up. It has no low end torque. Everything's up high. This one has torque the whole way, down low, up high. You know, through its power band. That's an electric motor, though. Um, would I recommend this to a contractor? I would. I would throw this in the back of my truck if I did, you know, if I did a job, you know, once a month or something else like that. I'd throw this in the back of my truck, never have to worry about a dirty carb or starting an engine. It doesn't matter if it's upside down, sideways, it's an electric motor, it doesn't matter. Um, whether you watch this video a day after I post it or five years from now, make sure you look down in the video description because I'll put my thoughts on it. I'll put a link to where you can pick it up, um, where I got it, and exactly my thoughts whether I like it if something goes wrong with it I'll make sure to write that all in the video description and keep you guys up to date if you're planning on purchasing purchasing this but as of now I think it's it's a thumbs up it's a great tool just like pretty much everybody else that gets it thinks so thanks guys see you soon bye